All right, everybody, welcome to another episode with Jeff. Tactical tips brought to you by Neo. Jeff, you still using Neo? It looks like last week's. No. Uh -uh. Are we just recycling the exact same shirt? I got a different shirt on. Okay, so we're glad you guys joined us again this week. Neo is the sponsor of our tactical tip. Glad you guys are here, um, and we're glad we have Neo. I love them. Yep, great, still using great them. product. Today, seven ways to brand your business, to win at branding your business. Branding is different than advertising, isn't it, Jeff? Yes, people need to know the difference between branding and advertising, and those things get mixed so much, right? Advertising is the efforts you make to get your brand out there. Right. And, and advertising is you're trying to get something, you're trying to get a lead, you're trying to get a referral source. Branding is just it's who you are. It's who you are. And we are all brand as people. So, you know, people know our brand. Mm -hmm. um, and as business, it should be the same way. And so number one, we talk about knowing your audience. That is so freaking important. Why is that important? They call, they talk about like your avatar, right? What's your perfect customer? What is that, what's that demographic, psychographic, neighborhood, you know, look, color, taste, like who is that person? And you've got to sit down and really build that out because that's going to determine who you're trying to attract. If you don't know who you're trying to advertise to or, or who you're trying to sell to, you'll never sell anything. Yeah, and, and, and you, you position yourself based on that, I think, right? Okay. I mean, I would say Luke has a higher clientele than maybe I do, so he's gonna maybe market, brand himself in a way- A little different. That might attract that customer, right? Yeah. Yep, uh, number two, know your competition. You gotta know who you're competing against or you'll lose, right? Yeah, I, I think it's important. I mean, I don't like to ever say like, you don't want to get caught up trying to do what they're doing. And that's not the yeah, point yeah. of this. You're not trying to be better than them or be flashier than them, but it is really, really good to know where your position in the market is. Yeah, because if you don't, you're going to lose to them. And I don't like to lose. Yeah. Number three, determine what makes your business relevant. And what does that mean? Well, we talked about this. It's like your core competency. Um, why is someone going to buy from you? You know, that, that's what makes you relevant. And so yeah. you got to figure that out. Do you have a why buy statement at your dealership? Well, we're just you're, the best. What are your it's three just, unique? It's just we're, we're just, we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. The best. <laughs> no, I, you know, it's like we finance you, not your credit. So okay. we know that people come to us because the credit's not the best, okay. right? And we also know that we're going to sell them a little better car than maybe another buy here, pay here mm -hmm. store. And we put all that together just to make sure that we're more relevant than the next guy. Yeah, I think when you put together your core competencies, like what is my why buy statement from us? That helps you develop a mission statement, right? So a mission statement would be like who we are, what's our characteristic, why would people buy from us? And then you're gonna boil that down into a mission statement, which would be like a small paragraph. So th those are all kind of steps, but if you don't know who you are and, yeah. and what sets you apart and why people would buy from you, you, you can't ever get to that. And that comes to, to number four is, is the core values, right? Write them down, mm -hmm. write down your mission statement. Know why you're doing these things because if you don't know why you're doing them, you're just gonna quit doing them, right? Yeah, and what your values are is, is it integrity? Is it honesty? Is it a fair deal? Is it a quick delivery time? Is it a seamless transaction? Yeah. You know, what are those core values that you as a dealership and you as an owner, more specifically, what do you really value? And it can be all those. Yeah. Oh. So next is be consistent. And when I'm talking about being consistent, I'm talking about color scheme, logos, and it's gotta be across every platform you use. Not only just your dealership, it's gotta be consistent on your website. It's gotta be yeah. consistent in your marketing. It's gotta be consistent on your social media because if you're not consistent, nobody knows what you are. Yeah, it's a great, great thing. Your physical facilities, should mirror your online facilities, right? Yep, if not, people get disconnected. Oh, it, this looks like this on the website, and then I get to the dealership and it looks like garbage. Mm -hmm. They're gonna leave. Yeah, yeah. Um, the next thing, choose a voice for your business. Mm. You know where I'm going with this, Jeff? Yeah, I, I, I battle this one because we do know a lot of dealers that brand themselves as the face of their business, right? Yeah. It is so-and-so's dealership, so-and-so is the guy, and when people show up, they wanna meet you know, Bob, the guy on the billboards, than the guy whose dealership it is. So I battle with this one. I, I don't ever want to be the face of my dealership because I don't want to be the one they come and complain to. Yeah, but if you're a voice, they, they, they begin to trust you. And that's what it's about, trusting, because your brand should be built on trust. And I think um, I've been the one who's been the voice for our dealership um, and my daughter. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we go out and people know us, but they know we have a brand and that's our brand. Yeah. And, Last, and this is so important, the last thing is you got to have patience. 
Mm. We've been at this for 37 years. I haven't been doing it the entire time, but we've been doing it for 37 years. And the biggest thing is, if you're not patient, you will never, ever get to the finish line. That was a timer so that we should stop talking. <laughs> There's always jokes when we do something because nothing's ever perfect. But we have patience and we know that if we do it right in the end, we're going to win. And it takes time to build brand. The more time you have, the better your brand's going to be and the better it should be. Amen.